It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shade 45. Wow, man. Look, I'm going to tell you, man, I'm, I'm a stickler for those kind of men. I like those dark period films where, you know, you take you back in history and the kind of rewrites history. I always thought, what, what, what year was the, the, the uh, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter? What, what year was it? It was set in um, mid-1800s, like 1830 to 1864. And I always felt like back then, because people were so evil, they had to be vampires. <laughs> well, that's that's the funny thing about the movie. I feel like it's a movie that questions and justifies humanity. Mm-hmm. I feel like every day when you hear something on the news, you try to understand how can someone stand aside, stand stand um, to the side and let their fellow man be bastardized or tortured. You mm-hmm. look at the slave trade. You look at the Holocaust. You look at the Crusades. You always wonder, if I was there, what would I do? Mm-hmm. You know, so everything always questions the humanity of a man who can stand aside and let that happen yeah you know so this movie kind of brings that into question because abraham lincoln wasn't that man he was the only person at that time to stand up and say slavery isn't right Mm -hmm. and we have to do something Mm -hmm. you know so that's why he was the best president best president and the one that good now he actually goes after the like he discovers that the world is has got a lot of vampires that are trying to take over the world yeah he gets it in it's uh the book was written by seth um seth Graham Smith Mm -hmm. and uh, it's basically he took uh, actual Abraham Lincoln biography and the Twilight movies and infused them together but these aren't Twilight vampires Mm -hmm. these like bring a chick and she'll jump in your lap screaming vampires like it's old school smack them up but you know Abraham Lincoln lost his mom at a young age and because of that he vowed that he would do something with his life to change the world Mm -hmm. so we took that idea and put it into the movie that his mother was killed by vampires Oh, you know oh wow so the is is basically a, a relook at the idea of this how the slave trade was. Mm-hmm. There's, you have these European vampires that come to America because they can gorge their fill because there's no punishment. Yeah. For feasting on slaves. Mm-hmm. So Abraham Lincoln's best friend in real life, William H. Johnson, mm-hmm. you know, gets with him. He realizes that these black people are being tortured for no reason. So he goes at the vampires to not only free the country, but to emancipate the slaves that they're uh, feeding on. Yo, he's still a hero to this day. Abraham Lincoln, <laughs> damn it. He's still on the side of black folks. Um, I can't be mad at that right there. I can't be mad at Heather B. As you talk about this vampire culture is looking at you like a vampire right now. Like you just- <laughs> no, because no, it's just funny to me. I had I had read about you that you graduated from Juilliard. Is that true? I did, I did. And this way, you know with True Blood and uh, the guy who plays Lafayette. Nelson yeah. Ellis. Ellis. And, uh, he graduated from he Juilliard ju- well. He graduated. And then Tara mm-hmm. uh, Mutina West, she graduated yeah. from Juilliard and she's a vampire. And I'm like, what is it with black folks and vampires <laughs> in Juilliard? Like, what, what is Juilliard cranking out over here? I mean... I'm looking at you like, wow, so that's what the Juilliard trained education gets you, a vampire job. <laughs> if, if you look at it, most vampire projects, like Interview with a Vampire, you know, movies like right. that, the, the context, they're put into a, a heightened context. It's mm-hmm. a heightened reality. So when you look at the Juilliard training, it has to do with classical training, namely, you know, Shakespeare, Ibsen, Chekhov, and those realities are also heightened realities. Mm-hmm. So to be a trained actor, you already you step into it with the ability to handle that reality. Right. Okay. Anthony Mackie is here man um breaking it down too by the way <laughs> damn i just feel like i'm about to, I'm, in the, I'm in college again damn. Cool, right? <laughs> dropped yeah, out I was, so I, didn't this, I was looking i'm like wow okay juilliard I, i'm getting it now i'm feeling that okay it's sway in the morning only on shade 45